So today I'm going to talk about babesiosis in dogs. So babesiosis is a disease caused by a single cell parasite in the genus Babesia. So transmission usually occurs through tick bites from infected ticks, but it can also occur through blood transfusions that contain the parasite or dog-to-dog -dog bites in which one dog is infected and then bites an unaffected dog and there is like a trans fusion of blood of some kind. But since this happens less frequently, I'm going to focus on uh, transmission through ticks. So Ixodes scapularis, or the black-legged tick, is the primary carrier of the parasite that causes babesiosis. And these ticks are active year-round, but are especially active during warmer months, so from May to September. And so here's a picture of a black-legged tick. As you can see, they're really, really small. So basically what happens is the tick latches onto the dog and it takes about two to three days for transmission to occur. But since they're so small, the owners really don't always notice when there is a tick on the dog, especially if they don't always check. And so that is what leads to the tick being able to stay on for the two to three days to transmit this parasite. So. Factors that put your dog at a higher risk for contracting babesiosis are basically the same factors that put your dog at a higher risk for having a tick on them. So things like being outdoors a lot, being located in a wooded area, not being protected with a tick treatment like a pill or, or a collar or spray or something, um, being in warmer climates and being located in states with high populations of the black-legged ticks. So I included a map here in these highlighted states or areas show where populations of the black-legged tick are very high. So if your dog is located in these areas, they're going to have a higher chance of contracting babesiosis because they have a higher chance of encountering a tick that carries the parasite for it. So the babesia parasites incubate in the host for about two weeks after transmission. So diagnosis can happen as early as two weeks after transmission and you can see symptoms as early as two weeks after transmission. But if the symptoms are really, really mild, diagnosis may not happen for anywhere from months to like even years. So your dog could be living with this for a long time and you would never know because the symptoms are just really mild. So basically the parasite enters the red blood cells and it causes hemolytic anemia and hemolysis destroys the red blood cells and then hemoglobin is released into the body. So this hemoglobin release can lead to a couple things, including jaundice and anemia. So jaundice is just the yellowing of the skin or whites of the eyes caused by obstruction of the bile duct, liver disease, or excess breakdown of red blood cells, which is what we're dealing with here. And anemia is the inability of the body to produce enough red blood cells to replace dying ones, which is what we're dealing with here because we break down so many red blood cells with this parasite. So. Symptoms of babesiosis include the lack of energy, lack of appetite, pale gums, which is anemia, um, fever, enlarged abdomen, colored urine, yellow-orange skin, which is jaundice, and weight loss and discolored stool. So I included some pictures here. Um, this first one right here, this is a dog with healthy gums. They're really pink. You can see that there is blood flow getting to this area of the body. But below this, if your dog has babesiosis, they may have anemia, and this is a dog who is anemic, their gums. So the gums are really pale. There's not any blood flow because, again, the red blood cells are being destroyed. Again, this is a picture of a dog that has uh, healthy eyes. The whites of the eyes are very white. You can see there is some, um, you can see the blood vessels in there, and that there is blood flow. but. In a dog that may have babesiosis, they may be jaundiced, so here you can see the whites of the eyes are really, really yellow. So this dog is extremely jaundiced. So um, if either of these occur, obviously take your dog to the vet immediately so that they can diagnose what's going on. So treatment for babesiosis is really dependent on the species of the parasite your dog is infected with. So there are a couple different species of the parasite. The most common one is um, Babesia canis, and that can be treated with uh, an injection, an IM injection of 
imidiocarb dipropionate, which is given once and then again two to three weeks later. Um, another common species is Babesia gibsoni, and treatment can be done with diminazine acetate or atovacone in combination with azithromycin. Um, they're still doing a lot of research on other treatments that can be done with other species and um, with Babesia gibsoni as well. But if the infection is like super severe, uh, your dog may need IV fluids or blood transfusion to kind of sustain the dog and help boost the immunity, the immune system of the dog so that it can fight off it, the infection in conjunct conjunction with treatment. But the best treatment is prevention, so you want to use a tick repellent year round and talk to your veterinarian to find out what kind of tick repellent works best if your dog doesn't take pills really well, use a collar, you know, and so um, it's important to use this year round and not just during the summer months. I have a question. How do they tell the difference, uh, the two organisms? They do um, different like stainings. Okay. I know they were doing like uh, like PCR and like, look like uh, getting like blood transfusions and doing, uh, or blood samples and doing different stages. Oh, okay, so they can just yeah. check the organism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then they know what treatment. Yeah, the treatment. most common one is this um, Babesia right. canis. Yes. So I would assume that they would probably try that first okay. if they didn't want to run through all the tests and then if that didn't work, move on to a different one and probably then run some statings and stuff. Okay, that was at the end. Yeah, I was yeah. just curious because sometimes, you know, like, how do they determine? Yeah, they... I